Hi, I'm Wendy. And today on Wendy Seas, we're going to talk about scuba diving. My friend Kim from Chapin sent him a question and said, hey, I have no clue how to get certified to scuba dive. Where do I even start? I'm a great person to ask. I'm constantly talking about my diving. I love it. I've had a chance to go all over the place. And so I'm really enjoying sharing my experiences and to have someone like Kim say, hey, how do I do this? Um, so I'm going to share this with all of you. First thing you do is do a quick search online for dive shops near me. Um, call one of them, go by and see one of them and find out what kinds of things they offer. Um, the closest dive shop to me is Watery Dive Center. I've been working with them for over 20 years now. Um, what's amazing to me is all of the wonderful things the dive shop offers. One of the things they offer is open water certification. This is what you need in order to be a scuba diver and to dive safely. So what I would do is call them up and say, hey, what kind of programs do you have going on? Currently, Watery Dive Center is a Scuba Schools International um, affiliate. There are other affiliations that other dive centers may have. They might be PADI, which I'm also certified in PADI. Um, but now we, there's lots of them out there. I think they're all good. I think they all get you the safety and the education that you need to do a great job. So here's what you do. Call them up, find out when the next open water certification class is. If you're with um, Watery Dive Center or a Scuba Schools International affiliate dive shop, they have online portions of the course. Then they have an in-person portion of the course. They have the pool portion, which is a lot of fun where you actually get to get underwater. Um, and then they have the open water experience. We are landlocked here where I am, so our experience is in Lake Murray, but where you are, there might be a quarry or the ocean. Um, some dive shops actually go on trips to places that are warmer and clearer, um, like Crystal River, Florida, where you can dive with manatee and see lots of wonderful things there. There are places that are near resorts on the coast of the entire United States that also do the same types of, well, not just in the United States, but over the world, they do the same thing. They can take you through the course. Um, the average course time is a couple of weeks. In other words, you go to a couple of classes at night. You've done some work on your own first. You go to a couple of classes at night and you go to the pool class, which is a good day or two. And then you go to the open water class, which is another day or two. It's not a fast process because you want to be safe. And diving safe is our number one priority. Number one priority. Um, this means ascend. So let's come back down here to the real world and talk a little bit more. Um, after you get signed up for your first course, you're going to need a little bit of basic equipment. Um, the basic equipment includes a mask. Um, this mask is, an, is the one that I picked. And basically to try on mask, what you want to do is open up the mask where only this part shows, put it on your face. Let me get this out of the way. Put this on your face and just take a deep breath in with your nose. If it stays on your face without you holding it, then that means it fits your face well. What will happen is if you have any openings in the seal where it's not on there very well, it won't, it won't stay on very well. So a well-fitting mask is going to fit your face with no hands. And that's going to be your number one purchase. After that, you're going to need a sort of snorkel. Um, this is the one I picked. Um, then you're going to need some dive boots. Mine are made by Akona, and I have my wetsuit and other items that are from Akona. Um, quality product, really enjoy these. Dive boots are comfy and important. You want them to fit because when you put on your fins, you want your, your foot to be comfortable in this, this fin apparatus here. I have Scuba Pro fins. I love these. They're lightweight for travel. Um, I feel like they they give a great push for the energy and effort that I use in my legs. This is a Scuba Pro Sea Wing Nova. They come in lots of different colors. And don't worry about color at first. Pick out equipment that fits well, that you really 
light, then you can order the colors that you like. I decided I was going to do all yellow. My sister has, um, her dive gear is in the blue range, um, turquoise, but the sea wings with the scuba pro fins come in orange, white, hot pink, oh, um, turquoise blue. You can pretty much get some of these in any color that you want. So you'll notice that my mask, my fins, my snorkel all have the yellow on them. And that's just a me thing. Um, you can also get all black. So there's all sorts of different things that, that you can have. One of the things that are not, that's nice to have is some chemicals that you can use to keep your mask from fogging. There's nothing worse than your mask flooding or fogging. So you want your mask to fit well so it doesn't flood and you want it to not fog. And so I use this product called Spit Anti-Fog. Um, works great. Let's talk about a few other things. Um, once you finish your courses, you may decide that, hey, I want some other equipment. Let me tell you what a great relationship it is, a great reason there is to have a great relationship with your diet, local dive shop. Um, our dive shop offers travel opportunities. If you don't have a dive buddy, or even if you do have a dive buddy, wouldn't it be nice to travel with other people from the same area that you live in? I do that. I've been to Bonaire with 30 of my best friends. They are now. Um, met wonderful people from all over our state. Um, they offer continuing education courses. You don't even have to be certified to dive to take some of the courses that my dive sh shop offers. I have taken um, a marine ecology class, a fish identification class, turtle identification class, sharks and manta ray identification class. There's a coral identification class. There's lots of things that you can take without ever even being certified to dive. So if you're just interested in learning new things, your local dive shop is a great place. If you're interested in travel, your local dive shop is a great place to have that relationship with. Um, you don't have to dive to travel with your dive shop. You can actually go to wonderful places like I've been. I've been to Cozumel. I've been to Bonaire. I just got back from Grand Turk. These are amazing experiences that I could have had whether I dove or not, but the diving was my favorite part. Um, I think the other thing that's really important to know, you see my tanks over here, is that when I buy these this equipment through my dive shop, they help me maintain that the, my equipment. They help me make sure that it's safe and that, that this is where I refill my tanks is at my local dive shop store. So not only do you get that great relationship, but you're getting, you're supporting local businesses, you're supporting um, small business, and you're also getting back more than you'll ever bargain for. My favorite thing that I think I've, I've gotten out of all of my dive experiences is that family feeling. Um, I love to just go hang out at the dive shop. They're great people and they're family. So what does Wendy see? I see lots of opportunities for you at your local dive shop. And I encourage you, whether you want to get certified or not, to find a local dive shop, go by and say hello, see what the things they have to offer, and enjoy that resources in your community. Hope to see you back again later for another episode of Windy Seas.